Fora TV. The world is thinking. I want to talk about Islam for a moment because I think we are wise to be concerned about it. As you know, I'm concerned about religion in general, but I think we're wise to differentiate specific religious beliefs. Uh, <clears throat> and we are, I think, quite encumbered by political correctness and just frank confusion on this front. Uh, one problem is that we have this one word, religion, which names this truly diverse spectrum of, of fascinations and uh, ideological commitments. And re religion is, is a nearly useless term. It's a term like sports. Now, there are sports like badminton and there are sports like, like Thai boxing. Okay, and they have almost nothing in common apart from breathing. Right. Now, there, there are sports that are just synonymous with the risk of physical injury or even death. I mean, there's sports that are just synonymous with violence. Now, if you get injured playing badminton, you're just embarrassed. <laughs> <sighs> we're, we're facing a problem at this moment. There, there, is, there is, I'm happy to say, a religion of peace in this world, but it's not Islam. Okay. To call Islam a religion of peace, as we hear ceaselessly reiterated, is completely delusional. Now, Jainism actually is a religion of peace. Jainism is a, that the core principle of Jainism is nonviolence. Gandhi got his nonviolence from the Jains. The crazier you get as a Jain, the less we have to worry about you. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> This is, I mean, Jain extremists are, are actually, they are, they are paralyzed by their pacifism. Jain extremists just, they, they can't take their eyes off the ground when they walk lest they step on an ant. They filter every sip of water through cheesecloth lest they sw swallow and thereby kill a bug. I mean, needless to say, they're, they're vegetarian. So the problem, notice, the problem is not religious extremism, okay, because extremism is not a problem if your core beliefs are truly nonviolent. The problem isn't fundamentalism, which we often hear this said. These are euphemisms. I mean, the, the only problem with Islamic fundamentalism are the fundamentals of Islam. Now we have Mullah Omar and Osama bin Laden and Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. These guys agree about the nature of reality and how to live within it. And the problem is they are giving a very plausible version of the faith. These, Osama bin Laden is not the Reverend Jim Jones of the Muslim world. It would be wonderful if he were, but the problem is he is giving an, a, a truly straightforward version of Islam, and you really have to be an acrobat to figure out how he's distorting the faith. Now, if, he were, if these guys were Jains, or Buddhists, or Amish, or Quakers, it would be, it would be patently obvious how they were distorting their religion. I mean, the, the, in fact, their behavior would be unintelligible. Okay, it is not obvious by the light of Islam, and that, this is just a fact we have to speak honestly about. And no one should be speaking more honestly about this and more volubly about this than moderate Muslims. Moderate Muslims have to find some way to grapple with this fact. But to, but to say that Osama bin Laden is David Koresh is just a lie, and, and it's, it's, uh, it's a dangerous lie at this point.